Hello, I'm Ken Emery from Emery Landscapes. Uh, I'm an arborist and today I thought you might want to uh, have a look at what we do and how we do it. <laughs> We're doing an ash tree uh, today. Um, it's about 200 year old ash tree. Uh, it's very badly decayed and uh, the top of it is dying back. Uh, it's over the top, potentially it leans towards me and if the tree fell, which is very badly decayed at the bottom, um, it would go towards some houses that are behind me. Uh, what we're doing is um, taking off uh, some of the boughs that are over the garden, the weight off this side, uh, so that we can address the, uh, shift the balance of the tree a little bit and then finally we'll pull the tree with a winch the opposite way to the house um, into the park that's uh, just behind you. It's a matter of ascending the tree um, we'll foot lock up um, to the first anchor point up there we've used the throw line to get the rope up and find a, a on, even on a dead tree like this or nearly dead tree like this we've got to find somewhere that's uh, secure to rope off on. So I'm just going to work my way up a little bit higher on this stem because uh, this is where we're going to set a pulley up for lowering uh, some of the branches off that we're going to take off here below just throw my rope a little bit higher up because I'll be taking these off I want to be in a comfortable position basically for positioning uh, my pulleys and things uh, I'll do these bits just in front of me I can, I can do them relatively small and we can just get a feel for the system. That's better. That's rigged up, ready for me to use there. I can get it. Right, so I'm going to bob down a bit and take one or two smaller bits out of the way that are just going to uh, get in our way. Uh, it might sound very corny, but it's as simple as probably climbing trees as a kid and uh, deciding that I wanted to do landscaping, really. But then uh, initially I started working for a company that did tree work. And um, I just, uh, it, it was just working at something that I'd always played at. I've, um, I've probably never done a day's work in my life because uh, at, uh, at 46 I still love tree climbing. <laughs> sink and a back cut on that, tried to direction it across a little bit, but uh, it went a bit just to avoid the top of a holly down there, but uh, when the wood's dead, it tends to be quite brittle, and no matter what you do, it'll go wherever its uh, centre of gravity dictates, really. Just moving that rope to one side so that it's not uh, in the way of the saw. I'm going to put a sink in this one, back cut, and I might just give it a nudge to drop it where I want it to go. Put my shoulder against it. Hello? <laughs> Hello? 
The, the the sort of person I'd be looking for to uh, to set on in this uh, to do this sort of work, they, they've obviously got to be physically fit, with an interest in the outdoors for starters, good practical aptitude and communication, um, because you're working. It's very much a team occupation. It's very multitasking as well. So um, the, the the practical aptitude, uh, fitness, and obviously a head for heights. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, level-headed, two feet on the ground. What is going on, Ist? So, once it starts to go, I've got to put the chain brake on, turn the saw off and just brace myself. Right, just taking a sink out, then I'll do a back cut. Okay. So I'll have to get you to tension up then. That's going slowly. Yep, that's okay. Right. Next, I'm going to take off uh, bits of this branch here to my left. It's not all sunny Sunday afternoons, unfortunately. So um, it's uh, when it's wet. Um, I'm afraid we often just have to get on with it. It's not uh, not always so pleasant when it's wet. It can be nice when it's cold because uh, you've all the uh, safe, all the safety equipment that we wear. You get very hot. So in the actual fact, a cold, frosty day can be uh, much more pleasant than uh, a hot, sunny one. <laughs> Right, do a sink and fell this.
away. Really is a rotten old tree this. The centre of that branch was uh, completely rotten. And at the ends of it too is one of the more live looking bits on a dead tree. <laughs> the end of the day. Um, not a straightforward tree by, by any means, a uh, um, little bit tricky with it being so rotten at the base of it that, but uh, it's the sort of thing that uh, we come across from day to day in the sort of work I do, so if you're interested in a career in arboriculture, good luck and hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, if you're wanting to follow a career in arboriculture, uh, I would suggest that you need as much training and experience as possible. Uh, that experience uh, ideally should be with uh, an arboricultural association approved contract for example because the work that they will do will be to a very good standard uh, and it's not just what they do but it's the, the, the way that the work's done because if you're planning to pursue a career in arboriculture a long career in arboriculture. Um, it has to be said that it is a very dangerous occupation, uh, particularly if it's not done properly. Uh, and you need to be uh, aware of the correct practices, um, and that's the way to, uh, to, to pursue it really, um, through approved contractors, training through uh, LANTRA and MPTC. Um, and um, good luck with your career. <laughs>